Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Matt. Welcome to the Sinbin, the YouTube hockey channel where we pretty much talk about everything hockey. Uh, it appears like we finally have some news about Brendan Leipzig. Now, for those of you who are completely in the dark, I will be linking a video to my past video where we talked a little bit about Brendan Leipzig, but just to give a brief recap, it appears that Leipzig was in an Instagram message group where he made a few comments, most notably about Tanner Pearson's wife, where he called her a pig or he called her fat. Uh, I forget the exact terminology, but he made some comments about her weight. He also made some comments about Connor McDavid's girlfriend, saying she has some greasy legs, I believe he said. Not sure what that means either. Um, he also made some comments about Jake Furtanen, saying he has the worst crew in all of hockey, referring to him and his friends. And last but not least, and personally, I think this is the most damning, he made some comments about his own line mates, saying they're the worst line mates. Now, they could have been jokes. I I've seen some people saying that some people were taking his messages out of context uh, in reference to the line mates comment. It could have been jokes. But the fact of the matter is, the reason I think that one is the worst is because from a hockey perspective, that's ruining your whole team chemistry. Or maybe not team chemistry, but at least it's ruining your line chemistry. Uh, I like a team that's really well weaved together. And it's little incidences like this that sort of can separate a team and split them in two. Team Leipzig and Team uh, Garnet Hathaway, uh, whoever the players were. So that's pretty much the whole situation. Um, now, we did get news today that the Washington Capitals went on to terminate Brendan Leipzig's contract. Uh, in that video I was talking about, the one I made a few days ago, I speculated that the Washington Capitals would do this, and obviously they did end up doing it, which is why I'm making a video today. The reason I thought they would do it, and the reason I was correct about it, is because Brendan Leipzig, like I said, he's a bottom six forward. He's no Alex Ovechkin. He's no Nicholas Backstrom. Uh, he's no Evgeny Kuznetsov, who, coming to think of it, he was involved in a controversy of his own. You know, he was caught uh, uh, with a pile of cocaine in front of him on video. So what's the reason we're getting rid of a Brendan Leipzig and we're not getting rid of Evgeny Kuznetsov, who, for my opinion, I think being caught in front of cocaine is a much bigger literal crime than just sending out a few messages. Well, the reason is Evgeny Kuznetsov is Evgeny Kuznetsov and Brendan Leipzig is Brendan Leipzig. You know, one's a superstar Maybe you don't think he's a superstar. I personally think Evgeny Kuznetsov is a superstar, one of the best playmakers in the league. And I'll hold that fact to the day I die. And Brendan Leipzig is Brendan Leipzig. Now, keep in mind, in that past video, I said I thought this would happen. Did I want this to happen? Not exactly. And the reason why that is is because we really have to look at this situation on two different sides of the coin. There's the ethics perspective and there's the business perspective from an ethics standpoint like I said in the video I believe in second chances I really do as a Christian I believe in forgiveness I believe that if someone makes a mistake or a sin they're allowed to be forgiven and given a second chance so from an ethics perspective I really didn't agree with terminating Brendan Leipzig's contract but after having slept on it and sort of marinating the thoughts in my brain the idea came to me, this, just, this isn't just an ethics thing. It's also a business thing. Pretend you guys are running the Washington Capitals. Having Brendan Leipzig on the team after this controversy, it's just bringing a whole lot of negative attention onto the team and a whole lot of negativity. From a PR standpoint, it's a nightmare, okay? I don't know if exactly it would hurt your sales because like I've said so many times now, he's only a bottom six forward. But at the very least, it's not good to have that attention on the team from a business standpoint. So I do understand why the Washington Capitals ended up doing it. Again, I'm not sure if I would have done it. And I'm very pleased to see the comments on my past video. You know, a lot of great comments it got really heated, <laughs> if I might say so myself. But uh, from an ethics standpoint, I don't get it. But from a business standpoint, I get it. All right. Let me pull up the article itself just so I can sound fancy here. A hockey player from Winnipeg has been given the boot by his NHL team after screenshots of offensive and misogynistic comments were leaked. Like I said, the Washington Capitals announced in a statement Friday morning that Brendan Leipzig has been placed on unconditional waivers for the purposes of terminating his contract. 
And I will venture a guess, and I'm almost 99.9999999% sure, I doubt that anyone's going to pick up that contract because if the Washington Capitals don't want that negativity, then I doubt that any other team in the NHL would want it. Um, the offensive messages appear to come from a group chat that left winger was involved in alongside of number of others, including his brother and fellow Winnipegger and Florida Panthers prospect, Jake Roadwall. I haven't done much research about Jake Roadwall, but bringing up his brother, talking about his brother, look at this guys. Brendan Leipzig's brother, Jeremy, kicked off of the University of Manitoba's hockey team for participating in misogynistic group texts. Wow. Jeremy Leipzig, Brendan's 23-year-old brother, has been kicked off the University of Manitoba Bison's men's hockey team. The news was reported by the Winnipeg Sun, Scott Billick. All right, I, I want to talk a little bit about that because, like I said, for Brendan, um, I think from a business perspective, I sort of understand the move. I'm having a little bit more tough time digesting the news about his brother because he only plays in the University of Manitoba. It's not like he's playing for the Edmonton Oilers. It's not like he's playing for the Winnipeg Jets. It's not like he's in the NHL is my point. He's not even in the AHL. He's a couple of steps below that. So I don't think that this type of incident, which lest we not forget, this is a minor incident. The guy wasn't caught on camera doing drugs. The guy wasn't uh, killing anyone on camera, beating up anyone. For me, this is a minor incident. Does it make it moral? Does it make it ethical? No. But for me, nevertheless, it's a minor incident. I'm having a little bit tough time understanding why they would go as far as to kick Jeremy Leipzig off the team. For me, that's a little bit of a stretch. For me, that's being a little bit overly harsh. But again... The University of Manitoba, they're an employer. They can get rid of their employee if they want. I don't agree with that one. I see it from the Brendan perspective. I don't see it from the Jeremy perspective. Anyway, uh, let's go on with the articles. Why don't we? So um, in the controversial Leipzig uh, conversation, my apologies, Leipzig commented on the physical appearance of Vancouver forward Tanner Pearson's wife. We talked a little bit about that. There's a statement here that they released. The National Hockey League, strongly condemns the misogynistic and reprehensible remarks made by players Brendan Leipzig and Jake Rodewall in a group chat that has serviced on social media. There is no place in our league for such statements, attitudes, and behaviors, no matter the forum. All right. Um, I want to talk a little bit about an article that I was reading actually in my past video. So they labeled Brendan Leipzig as being a sexist as being a misogynist. Um, after doing a little bit of digging, I found one of uh, Brendan Leipzig's victims, for lack of a better word, one of the girls who was making fun of. Her name is Nicole Zajac. Uh, here's a brief little vi uh, picture of her. We're going to get to that a little bit later. But in that article, they labeled Brendan Leipzig as a sexist. They labeled him as a racist. Now, a lot of people pointed out in the comments, which is good. I'm not claiming to be an expert here. Look at me. I'm some new for a Montreal Expos hat, a Toronto uh, Blue Jays jersey. Um, I'm not claiming to be an expert, okay? There's a reason I'm not on TSN right now. A lot of people pointed out that the fat native pig comment, that was racist because in Winnipeg, they're known for having a lot of natives. Something um, I think I knew at some point, but I forgot. I probably should have done some more prep before this video, but a lot of people pointed that out to me. And if indeed he was making fun of a native girl, a native Canadian girl or a native American girl, whatever, then I think that calling her a native pig uh, is a racist comment. Um, I, I would call that a racist comment at least if he was making fun of a native girl. But let's look at the sexist label. He is making fun of Tanner Pearson's wife for her weight. Um, he's making fun of all of these different girls for their weight. And keep in mind, the messages that were released were the ones targeted towards women. Who knows? He could have been making fun of men's weight uh, in other messages that weren't released because it's not that sexy of a scoop than if you were making fun of a woman, you know, because then we get to label him as a sexist. But is he making fun of them because they're women? I don't think so. I don't think he's being a sexist as much as he's just discriminating against people's weight. Is there an ist word for when people make fun of weight? 
Be, because if I look at it, he's not making fun of them for being women. Brendan Leipzig is an athlete. And in hockey, it's one of the sports where the athletes are in very good physical conditions. So when you think about him, compared to Brendan Leipzig, I'm probably Jabba the Hutt. I'm probably morbid, morbidly obese. The way I look at it, he's not necessarily being sexist. He's more so making fun of their weight. And the reason that I'm making this demarcation is because words like sexist, words like racist, words like the otherists, misogynists, go on, go on, so forth. I think they're very, very negative words. I think they're some of the worst words in terms of their impact, in terms of what they mean and all of the English dictionary. So I want to be very careful before I throw out that word to someone. I want to be extra sure before I call Brendan Leipzig a sexist, okay? I do see the point where people might call him a racist because of the comments he made. But, but even then, I think it's a racist comment. To call him himself a racist, I think that's another story. It's definitely a racist comment. But for the sexist thing, I'm not on board the way I saw it. And I might be wrong. Okay, please let me know in the comments, which the more I think about it, I don't think I'm going to be reading comments, but still, I still might read them. Let me know in the comments. Is he a sexist? I don't think so. The way I viewed it, he's mostly making fun of their weight. Um, like I teased, this is one of the people he was making fun of, a Winnipeg woman uh, focusing on bo body positivity after being targeted by hockey players, misogynistic slurs. Again, misogynistic. I don't think he was making fun of her for being a woman. I think he was more so making fun of her for not having that stereotypical supermodel body. Okay. Um, I did say in my past video, and I, I, I know we're getting more into sociopolitics here than we are into hockey, but it's a good conversation to have if you guys have made it this far in the video. When it comes to, to preferences in terms of body size, I truly believe everyone has their own preferences. For example, me, I like women with meat on their bones. If we look at this Nicole Zajac uh, girl, if you look at her body, I don't think there's anything wrong with this type of body. You know, maybe her doctor would disagree with her. I don't know about that. But in terms of um, how attractive I find it, I think this is a very attractive body because I don't necessarily like it uh, when a girl is all skin and bones. Okay, from, from an attraction standpoint, I'm not saying that makes you a bad person if you're very, very skinny. I'm just saying from a preference standpoint, my preference, my opinion is I like a girl with a little bit more meat on their bones. Okay, my brother, for instance, would completely disagree with me. He likes it when women are very svelte, very slim, very thin. I think this is all subjective. If a guy says that he likes... Um, uh, if he, he likes a thinner body type, I personally don't think he's being negative. I think he's just voicing his opinion, okay? Uh, I don't think he's being body negative, for lack of a better word. Um, I don't think he's being body negative at all. I think he's just voicing his opinion. We all have different opinions when it comes to food, when it comes to politics. It's not, it's not different when it comes to body. We have different opinions when it comes to body. Look at my body. I'm not every girl's cup of tea. I don't mind saying that whatsoever because we all have different preferences. I just wanted to preface that, but it is a very interesting story. This is Zajac girl. She says, everything I post, I post online because I feel beautiful. I feel great. I feel worthy. I just don't think it's worth, worth it to let a few comments from people who clearly don't respect women get to you. Um, she's saying basically she doesn't care, but she did take the time to make this photo here where she's doing a, a frowny face saying, oink, oink, what a unit. She is getting way bigger, ready, really shredding it, Nicole. All right, enough of that. Um, all the power to you, Nicole. If, if you feel empowered um, with your body, all the power to you. Um, let me just make this a uh, slight demarcation because I talked about how we all have different uh, preferences when it comes to body. Uh, I, th I really do think that we all have different preferences. The only difference is that you can choose to be a dick or you can choose to be rational and polite about it. I think the way I explained it, it may have been a little bit discombobulated. Okay. I'm not no William Shakespeare 
when it comes to talking. But I think the way I explained it was very respectful, very rational. You might disagree, but in terms of the way I delivered it, I think it was very respectful. The way that Brendan Leipzig is stating his preference towards body size, he's being a dick. He's being a dick, okay? He's being a dick in a private message, which is different from being a dick in front of someone. The reason why I say that is because, like I stated in my private previous video, I think that at some point we've all done some something similar to Brendan Leipzig, okay? If you say you've never talked behind someone's back, okay, I'll believe you, and I think you're a great person, but I also think you're in the great minority. I think that a lot of people, especially in the high school phases, we're constantly talking behind someone's back. Hey, look at Vanessa. Look at her love handles. Hey, look at Jeremy. He has a he has a monobrow. I don't know what it is. I got made fun of my monobrow a lot. But anyway, the only difference is, again, going back to that body positivity whole thing, because I hear it a lot. Women like to lambast men if they like a thinner body. And I really think that they shouldn't. Because when it comes to body, it's a term of opinion when, like every other thing, food. Are you going to make fun of someone because he likes chicken? No, it's his opinion. TV, are you going to make fun of someone because he likes Family Guy over The Simpsons? No, it's his opinion. Body, are you going to lambast someone because he likes a slimmer body versus a heavier set body? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that's just his opinion. The only thing, and I'm coming off as a broken record, which is a sign that I should end this video, you could come off as a gentleman, you can come off rational, or you can come off very rude, which is how Brendan Leipzig came off as. And unfortunately for him, he's a National Hockey League player. You have to be extra careful when it comes to these whole messages thing, especially on Instagram and Twitter and all of these, where it seems that every two seconds someone is getting hacked. You have to be on your toes. And as for Nicole Zajac, all the power to you, okay? Uh, I, I believe in, in uh, body positivity, I guess. And if ever you need a platform and you want to come on the show, let me know, okay? I'll get rid of that photo next to me and I'll put your mug and we'll have a great conversation if ever you need a platform. I know I'm not that big of a channel, but still giving me the opportunity here. All right, I've been going on for way too long. I have the tendency of just letting my mouth run and sometimes my brain doesn't follow, but I hope you guys followed all the way to this point. Uh, my name is Matt. This was The Sin Bin. If you like this type of content, hockey content, I know this is more drama, for lack of a better word, but once the season gets restarted, we're going to be talking about hockey a little bit more as opposed to this whole drama. Um, if you like this type of content, make sure to drop a like. Make sure to drop a subscribe. Make sure to comment. I, I, I will add this in conclusion. We might have different opinions, okay? You might have disagreed with every single thing I said. But the the fact of the matter is, I don't think that I was disrespectful. So if you disagree, don't write a nasty comment. Don't put a dislike. Explain to me, why do you disagree? And we'll have a good little comment, okay? Um, and if you also like me, make sure to follow the Discord where we can continue the conversation once the cameras have stopped. Talk about hockey, talk about everything. Make sure to also follow me at Twitter. The Sinbin 1996. Also, guys, I'm going to be putting out a poll uh, on YouTube, or I guess a question as a post, but I'm, I'm just going to throw it out here now. I am going to be doing a video on who I think should be on the NHL 21 cover. So I, I want to feature a lot of my listeners' opinions. So I'm going to ask you guys, who do you think should be on the NHL 21 cover? Okay. Do you think it should be uh, Colby Cave? I've heard that a lot. A lot of people said he died tragically. Should it be Colby Cave? A lot of people, they want Nathan McKinnon. He seems like a very likable superstar, Nathan McKinnon. A lot of people, should it be uh, Mitch Marner? Should it be Patrice Bergeron? Who should it be? I want to know your opinion. Again, I'll be putting it out on my Twitter. I'll be putting it as a post. Should it be Brendan Leipzig? I don't know if Nicole, Nicole Zajac would agree with that. Uh, my name is Matt. I hope you like this video. Hope you subscribe. Keep your stick on the ice.